Hello YouTubers and coin collectors out there. This is Big D Coins here. Uh, we've got some great dollar coins to share with you and a dollar bill as well. But this video is not going to be about the presidential dollar coin. It's not going to be about the Sacagawea dollar coin or the Susan B. Anthony dollar coin or the Eisenhower dollar coin. This video is not going to be about any of the modern United States coins. It's going to be about some modern Canadian coins. In fact, this video right here is going to be about this dollar bill right there. This is a commemorative issue. Uh, you guys know how much I like the commemorative issue, uh, common circulating coins and dollar bills. So this one... Uh, commemorates the centennial of the Canadian Confederation and this bill right here is featured up here and it is worth one dollar in good condition and three dollars and fifty cents in uncirculated condition but because this is a big D coins video uh, we're not just going to be looking at a dollar bill from the book we've got the actual dollar bill right here in front of us so look how cool this is this one right here is in absolute great condition you can see uh, the centennial markings at the top right there and as we get into it uh, I'll kind of explain that this bill is kind of a modified version of that bill right there I don't have that copy but it's got a different background to it so that's the dollar bill that we're going to be looking at right here. So you can see the markings at the top that mark 1867 to 1967. Uh, this bill was made in 1967. It's kind of like the bicentennial coin that's pretty common in the United States. So the centennial logo, which you see at the top there, uh, which is at 1867, uh, 1967, that was added to the front of the note. And the reverse was changed, which differentiates itself from the previous 1954 dollar bill. So the reverse features the original Parliament building of Canada. Whoops, almost got away from us. It's on the run. So there's the uh, original Parliament building right there. A very nice looking building. Let me try and get as good of a view as I can of it. So that uh, parliament building was destroyed by a fire in 1916. Rather unfortunate, but it's pretty cool that they're commemorating that historic building on the back of this dollar bill right here. Now this bill isn't uh, worth you know, a tremendous amount of money, which is part of the reason why I was able to purchase it on eBay. But it's a very cool bill. Uh, the one I got is in great condition. You can find them on B eBay for around what the book says, around $3. So not a bad deal if you want to treat yourself and get a, co a dollar bill like this. But let's talk about some more stuff. We've got, I've got some coins lined up right there. And we will get into those coins. So earlier uh, this month, I made a pretty cool video about the bimetallic coins of the world. And on that video, I didn't feature the most common one of them all, the Canadian $2 coin, also known as the, uh, the Toonie. They uh, call the $1 bill, uh, $1 coin, the Looney. So they call this one the Toonie. So this one is uh, made in 2002. It's another uh, commemorative coin. It's a circulating coin. Um, so it features on the obverse of the coin Queen Elizabeth at the age of 64. So this coin uh, commemorates Queen Elizabeth's 50th anniversary as the queen. So she has been, or she was queen from 1952 until 2002. In fact, I believe she is still the queen of England. The mintage of this coin. Uh, there were 27 million of these coins made, and they were only made in 2002 with this special design to them. As I said, it's a bimetallic ring. It has a aluminum bronze center. You can see the bronze and kind of aluminum colors to it. And it's got a nickel ring on the outside. 
So the reverse of the coin features a polar bear. I've actually got another coin uh, that's the same coin but has a nicer reverse to it. So uh, why don't we use this one when we're looking at the reverse? So you can see it's a pretty wide coin in comparison to that uh, uh, Sacagawea dollar coin that I showed you right there. It's a tad bit bigger. This Canadian coin has a weight of 7.3 grams, diameter 28 millimeters. But that's not all for the Canadian coins because uh, Canada also uses the uh, dollar coin. And the dollar coin has been a lot more popular in Canada than it has be been here in the United States. I've been a big fan of the dollar coin because it you know, gives me more coin videos uh, to make and more coins to collect. So this right here is the 1987 uh, Canadian dollar coin. It features a loon on the reverse and some other stuff about the coin. In 1987, uh, there were 205 million of these coins produced. And what's interesting about this coin right here is that after uh, 1987, they slightly tweaked the uh, size of the coin from 1988 to 2002. So this one right here is 1989. So the 1987 has a thickness of 26.72. The, excuse me, it has a diameter of 26.72. However, the 1988 to 2002 coin only has a diameter of 26.5. So they reduced the diameter of the coin after 1987 by 1.22 uh, millimeters. So really not that much at all. They also decreased the thickness of the coin by 0.2 millimeters. So the one on the top here is the 1987. That's the slightly more thick by 0.2 millimeters than the uh, other coin we have here, which is the 1989. So it features, you know, a very cool shot of the loon on the back right here. But that is not all, folks. Uh, we've got a couple more of these coins. Uh, this one right here is from 1989 as well. I'm just going to share with you all the ones I've got in my collection. It's got some nice coloring to it. And this one right here, the third of the 1989 Canadian <laughs> uh, dollar coins that I have. But in case you were getting tired of the 1989, let's bring into the shot a more modern coin. This is the 2004. So this one has a slight design change to it. Uh, it doesn't look too much different on the reverse. However, when you flip it over, you're used to seeing uh, Queen Elizabeth II at age 39. Well, unfortunately, she has aged some. So this is her at age 77. You can tell she's definitely aged a little. Uh, she's still wearing her hair kind of up, but uh, no tiara as the other one has. So this uh, coin design was made from 2003 to 2012. It is a common coin, and it's a uh, bronze plated nickel. That's the metal content of the coin. Uh, it's not a bimetallic one like the other one. It's just straight through uh, bronze plated nickel. So here's the reverse, which you can see the date on it, 2004. Now this 2004, like you would imagine, has got a little bit more detail than the 1980s coins that I was showing you, just because it's had a little less wear and tear to it. And before I sign off on this video, I want to briefly introduce to you the guest special random guest appearance. And does anyone want to guess where this coin is from? Well, I guess you can see it right there. But this is the United Arab Emirates. Uh, this is the 25 fills coin. This coin was made from 1973 until 2001. It uses the Islamic calendar year. And its value is 
about seven United States cents. Its metal content is copper and nickel. And on the reverse, uh, you can, it has the, um, the value of the coin surrounded by the name of the country. So we can see United Arab Emirates right there, which is probably what the top translates to as well. When we flip it over, we've got this cool animal on the obverse of the coin. This is a gazelle facing the left, which has the date, which is written in Arabic. So unfortunately, can't translate it. But my website says it's made from 1973 until 2011. So uh, I'll sign off here. If you're into coin collecting, please do check out some of the other videos on my channel. I've got a lot of great ones. been making an effort lately to post two of them a day. So hopefully uh, all of my subscribers have been enjoying it. So take care and have a great day, everyone.